Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to July 2nd. And as predicted, it's a little doomy and gloomy looking out here today. Quite a bit cooler. I'm not wearing a coat, maybe. <laughs> maybe I should have. Anyway, let's start off the uh, Tuesday. Come on along for the ride. Those old mutt trees sure are growing quick out there. It's really a crying shame that somebody came through and stole all them saplings out of there. That old, that old dude that owns this land, he was out here screaming. He was some kind of mad. That can't be cheap, you know, because there's a whole herd of guys out here planting all those things. And then the, some, and the funny thing is, you think they'd miss one? But there's not a fir tree or a pine tree or some pines mixed in there too. Not a one of them's popped up. So they didn't miss a wood. Crazy. All right there, little woman. Yes, On a cloudy Tuesday, I yeah. see some blue skies up north. Let's go back home. I know. <laughs> Let's go that way. It is warm. Warmer. Yeah. I'm going to need this jacket now. My phone says it's 61. That's comfortable. Yep. Ah, I'm fine with it. All right. Good. <laughs> All right. Let's start off another day. All right, sweetie. You try to have a good day. All right. You do the same. Love yeah, you. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. The old RS, she's getting herself a new chicken skin on the back. That's always fun changing these. That's no big deal. Well, the brakes got screeched and everything came to a stop. <laughs> At the moment, his uh, his brake pads are beyond needing replaced. And he's taking a trip down to San Diego and back on it. So uh, I'm waiting for a customer approval for the rear pads. Fronts are fine. Belt's fine. Actually, the bike's in great shape. It's got his nice shiny new Kenda tire on there and uh, an Amazon box that I didn't think was going to make it here. Somewhere, I think it was Yosemite or one of those things. I had one of those little, you know, the little trifold stools that was horribly uncomfortable and um, I got these Kawasaki chairs um, from years ago and they're like camp chairs and they're so comfortable but they fold up about twice the length of this this is actually two of these things in here but this size that's a whole camping chair and it's one of those things like some of the tents and stuff where the poles are kind of held to they kind of dangle, they're held with elastic and you assemble it and you just put the little sheet thing on it. So uh, anyway, they had a deal on two pack. And I was thinking for Kelly and I, when we go like to the parks and whatever, that would easily fit somewhere. Plus for the upcoming trip, it's a chair, not a stool. And these are way more comfortable. Then have you guys ever heard of packing cubes? Well, I use those things like going to school and stuff. And uh, those things are kind of haggard, so I bought a new set. And the ones, <laughs> the ones I had for school was kind of a baby blue. I forget where I got them, Walmart's or somebody had them. <laughs> I ordered a set of, um, actually I think it's got a blue accent to it. But anyway, packing cubes are great. If you guys have never used those things, like on road trips and stuff, they're worth their weight in gold. Hold on a sec. Pretty sure these things are have blue accents. Maybe they're totally black. Yeah, they're totally black. Anyway, it's just these little little pouches that help to keep all your stuff organized. This is like a gag Christmas gift. Where you have a box in a box in a box. But it's <laughs> literally they do. It just keeps going one step down. But see, they're just these little little see-through net. Packing cubes, they call them. So, anyway, you got different ones. And it works great. It's so fantastic to use to keep things organized. And when you're digging for something, cables, camera stuff, or whatever, I use like gallon um, Ziploc bags. Those work good too. But uh, these are nice for the clothes. And then you put them in neater and you can pack them easier. So, anyway. Cool stool two of them so use them at home and one of them I'm going to carry with me and then 
the packing cubes for my clothes and whatever other things. Most of my wires and stuff I keep in gallon Ziploc bags. I can see those much easier. But anyway, I'm waiting for an okay still. Waiting, waiting, waiting. <laughs> See how small them things are? And that's what she looks like. Just simple as can be. And just folds up into that nice little, tidy little arrangement. They're good for like 250 pounds. It's pretty cool, huh? It's even got little pockets on the side. On both sides. That's cool stuff. And then, you know, if it's hot, it breathes, so you'll, you'll be comfortable. Cool stuff, huh? That's quite a bit of stuff for just a turn signal. Non-OEM Honda stuff. Take the bike apart. I'm not the only one that gets these jobs, huh? <laughs> Poor boy. Look at that, no muffler. It's amazing how much that pre-muffler muffler muffles. That's a that's got a way better grumble than I thought it was going to. That's honestly. nice and deep. That's like really nice. Yeah. We've been a little late today. That woman was absolutely slammed. That's why I was back there goofing around with Ryan and Gordon. Waiting, waiting for the little mama. And then the last thing, this older gentleman just spent all this time with her and just basically told her, F you, that's too expensive, and walked away. <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy. No thanks for your time and your courtesy and all that. Just F you, that's too expensive. Yeah. Crazy. Welcome to the retail world. We stopped at Cascade Market here in Castle Rock. We haven't done this in quite a while. Like yeah. Castle Rock's such a cute little town. Yeah. Look at that. You see them firework stands absolutely everywhere you look. Oh, yeah. Such a gorgeous little town. So clean. Well kept. Look at this. 7.30 at night. It rained here in Toledo. As soon as we came across the rest area hill there, everything was wet. <laughs> Sashi and Annie waiting. Got hands full of stuff. Stopped at the grocery store and then the stuff I got from Amazon today. Plus my junk that I carry every day. Anyway, there's some swallows out there flying around again. I don't know if you guys can see them that far away. That's cool. So I was out here, well, I was in the house gathering some of my my stuff. I want to see if that tool will fit in the bag. One of the things I couldn't find, oh, it's in the tank bag. I couldn't find my, uh, the Optimate adapter that, that plugs in so I can charge, you know, phones and I can charge whatever inside my backpack. Found that. What else is I gonna show you? Oh, so you know, I showed you the the little chair. Well, I'm out here. I'm trying to find my. I've got like four or five of those power strips, you know, so I can use one plug in at the at the place, and then you know, have a bunch of my other stuff plugged in. I was looking for that. I found that stool. I thought I lost this thing in like Yosemite or something. It just, I don't think it ever came back. Well, I didn't think it did. The travel chair. But these things are not comfortable. They actually work pretty good, but it doesn't compress down as good. That's what I was looking for. And then I came across these chairs and I go, yeah, I forgot about those things. I've been seeing a lot of people use them. But the reason... I got the bag out of here. Is here's that uh that ten liter Copeland bag. 
this has got all my all my survival stuff in it. Everything's in here. Nice waterproof bag. It all fits in here nice and neat. Man, them these bags work so good that it's hard to get the water. I mean, water. Get the air out of them. There's there's everything. Probably about I don't know, maybe eight pounds worth of stuff. I need to get a scale out and weigh it. Let me pull the BMW bag and see if we can get that uh, that tire tool in there. That'd be nice to know whether I can or can't. Well, I guess that answers that pretty quick. Fits right in there. And it's landing right in a fold. Perfect. This is what the kit come with. So to get a tire off with this thing, you'd have to do the old, you know, where you wedge a, a wrench in there. I mean, you'd get away with that. It's not like the kit is built in a way that you can't use it. You absolutely could get a wheel off of one of these BMWs with that. But because the re you know, the hub where the lug bolts are are deep enough in there. But this fits right in. And then you got the longer handle, so you got more leverage. So I think they should include it with it. You know, it's 16 bucks retail. It's not not that expensive. But there's my nice little toolkit. And it all fits in that Copeland bag perfect. And that's my first time digging something out. So I know I can get in the bag real quick, too. So that's really nice. And then it just lays right down in the bottom of that bag. Just happy as you please. So, you know, of course I need to balance things out, but this will be kind of my survival bag. I just got to make sure that there's not stuff that's overly heat sensitive. Because even though it has all these heat shields and stuff on there to keep it away from the exhaust, it does uh, it does get pretty pretty hot on that side compared to the other side. That's pretty cool. You literally never know that tire tool's even in there. Perfect. So I was pulling things. These two bags were bags I've been carrying on the last few trips. I was trying to figure out what the heck that thing was. It's the uh, floor for a. Uh, it's a, one of those heavy duty floors to put down before you put your tent on it. That's my tent. There's my. One of those expanding foam uh, bed rolls. That's my uh, air pillow. This is my my sleeping bag. So the pillow and the sleeping bag. I don't I don't think I need the bed roll or the tent because we're gonna be staying in cabins. So I can just put all that. Well, actually, that was in that green bag. Put all that stuff back away. So probably my my pillow, maybe my bed roll. I don't know, that cot was comfortable. I had no problems with that. But that thing is nice, though. Gives you that extra little layer. That goes in there nice and neat. Man, that's nice. I can pull everything out, like, really quick. And then that climb bag fits in the, the other, the left saddle bag. So, I put the tent base and the tent back in there. So, I did bring, I may pull that back out. But I put the bedroll, the uh, sleeping bag, my pillow, and that in there. You can see there's like tons of, tons of room left. I didn't even put a dent in that bag. Anyway, slowly getting everything together. I need to find that power strip, wherever the heck that is. And then my clothes and stuff, because those will be the lightest. I'll put them in the, in the trunk. So put the heavy stuff low and in the bags and try to get the bags balanced you know just sit out here and pick them up make sure they're balanced and uh put the light stuff in the trunk and probably stick some clothes or whatever i'll get those things i forgot i bought that kiriakin bag for the last uh bmw trips so i could uh carry on and um the luggage instead of checking in anything and uh, that thing has, um, I forgot, it has a couple of those uh, uh, packing cubes as well. The uh, the other ones I got, I could probably wash, I think you could probably wash them. Those things are nasty. Um, the other ones I had, them baby blue ones, 
I uh, I use them things quite a bit. The uh, dirty clothes got in there and everything, <laughs> everything else. They're a little raggedy. Plus they they look a little dainty, but they survived a lot of trips to uh, Ontario. That works really well. All right, I'm starting to walk away. I forgot a little friend followed me in here tonight. Danny? Are you alive down there, buddy? You are out freaking cold, dog. <laughs> what a knot. <sighs> Stretch him, old bones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, hello there, YouTube. So how's that for, like, a winter day kind of vlog? Yeah, that was very kind of much so like the, like the old wintertime vlogs. Man, it just it, it's like dark out there when we got home. It was about yeah. seven thirty, I think, when we got home. Crazy, but yeah, just been out gathering stuff. I didn't do much of that this weekend. I did a little bit, but um, yeah, today I just got the urge. So where everybody's gonna be all together and meet up. And start the ride. Of course, the other guys got to come from a ways, you know. Some from San Francisco, some from Eugene. So, we're going to meet up and start the ride after a lunch at GC's Truck Stop. That's going to be cool. So, I'm going to have the little woman follow me there in the car. She's got to meet. I think she's met David Andrews. I don't know if, I don't know if yeah. she has or not. But anyway, if she hasn't, she'll meet him. And uh, she'll get to meet um, Jeff and Gabe. Two really cool. cool people, as you guys know. So, yeah, we'll all sit down and have a little lunch lunch and start the ride. Be very cool. Yeah, but yeah, very excited. This weekend's the last weekend to prep. From there, whatever needs to be done needs to be done on Saturday. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to go. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was Scared trying to me. hold it. <laughs> yeah, because I was trying to hold it. There was no sign it was coming. Nope. But, um, anyway. We should probably go. Yep. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give our thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Heck yeah. All right. Tomorrow, the day, I think today was the only rain day. So, yep. Tomorrow back should to be the sunshine. back to the heat and sunshine. Yep. All right. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> Bye. Bye bye now.